conservative new media sports fans, we've got some news to pass along from the world of men's singles tennis. World number one Novak Djokovic of Serbia has defeated Australian Leighton Hewitt in the fourth round of the 2012 Australian Open. The match took place Monday night, January 23rd, local time. The contest took place at Rod Laver Arena in Melbourne, Australia. The final score of the match was 6-1, 6-3, 4-6, and 6-3 for Djokovic. We will include several links to articles on this story in the video description below the video player as soon as we can. Djokovic, or Nole as he is nicknamed, was in complete control of this match until he led three love in the third set. At that point, Hewitt kicked his level of play up several notches and won six of the next seven games to take the third set at 6-4. It was the first time in the tournament that Djokovic has dropped the set. From there, though, the Serb righted his ship and again took command of matters when he broke the Aussie in the sixth game of the fourth and final set. From that point, Djokovic went on to serve out the match in short order. The Serb now moves on to the quarterfinals of the tournament, where he will face world number five David Ferrer of Spain. I believe that match will take place on Wednesday, January 25th, local time. The rest of the men's singles quarterfinals matchups look like this. World number two Rafael Nadal of Spain will face Tomas Berdic of the Czech Republic. World number three Roger Federer of Switzerland will face Juan Del Potro of Argentina. And world number four Andy Murray of Britain will square off against surprise quarterfinalist Kei Nishikori of Japan. Djokovic is looking to win his fourth major championship title of the last five majors, including this current tournament. He is also seeking his third straight major championship trophy and his fifth major championship of his career. Let us know what you think of Djokovic's impressive run in the comments below. Will he win this Australian Open? Or will Nadal, Federer, or Murray be able to take the crown from him? What about the Dark Horse Challengers? Give us your thoughts on this subject below. Reporting for Conservative New Media, this is Paul F. Villarreal.